loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am participating in a challenge video that is being hosted by the lovely Heidi Sabo over at Happily Thriving Heidi. Now this is a DIY challenge that Heidi hosts every single month so other creators can get together and share in their love of crafting. So I will be listing Heidi's channel down in my description down below and if you haven't seen her channel yet you have to go over and show her some love. Check out her channel. Tell her I sent you. I will also be listing the playlist for this challenge that she will have available so you can go on and see all the other people who are participating in it and show them some love as well. So first of all I have two challenges for you guys. It is spring decor this time. Heidi hosts this every single month and for my spring decor I have one of the candle stands from Dollar Tree. I have several packs of these birch wood stems that came from Dollar Tree. I picked up some beautiful tulips that were on sale and still are on sale at Michael's for $1.99 a bunch. You get this many in a bunch and I have three of them here. I also have some ribbon I do believe I picked up from Joanne Fabrics and this one also from my craft stash. We are going to be utilizing some twine maybe and of course our hot glue gun and glue sticks. So let's just jump right in and see what I come up with. Okay first thing we're going to take the sticker off the back of this candle stand. And please excuse what my nails look like because I haven't been able to go get them done. Then we're going to open up our wood stems and we're going to use as many as it takes to go around the cake stand and then we're going to layer them. I'm not sure if I want to put them inside here. We'll see how that works. I think that will work out. Or if I want to turn it over and do it the other direction. journey what are we saying making excuses no tell all the people we know we're getting ready to go it's time 
life is passing by Any, mini, money mo Pick a place and there we'll go Work this jungle like a pro And learn to last Any, mini, money mo Pick a dream and wake your soul Let the music take control And learn to dance Get on up, let's go We've got some money and gas in the car So let's hit the road Can't you see we're moving slow It's dangerous, we'll see just going to add in our tulips these came from Joanne fabrics I did bend the ends of them because they are a little too long for the height of this I want them to spill out like this and so I think it turns out to be a really different but very pretty floral arrangement for spring and I love that you can even put a little vase in there and add real flowers if you want to. Here's my final project and I really love how it turned out. And I do believe it's perfect for spring. Let's move on to project number two. Okay, for project number two, you're gonna need a piece of twine. I have this left over from another pack, so I'm not going to open anymore. That came from Dollar Tree. I also have these new pearls that I found at Dollar Tree in their garden section. I also have these wood beads that came from Dollar Tree. These are in the hair accessories. Then I have this stem of dogwood and it's a long stem as you can see. These are some white flowers with a little bit of a darker pink kind of a uh, pinky purple on the end they also have them in pink and i did see some yellow stems but i don't think those were dogwood then i also went into my own craft stash and i found some of these beads that are sort of like i don't know how many sided but they're really pretty and i also pulled out some wood hearts. I had these already. These came from Amazon. The wood beads came, I think, from Joanne Fabrics. I'm pretty sure you can find them there, Michael's Hobby Lobby. These, you can also find some, maybe not that look just like this, but Hobby Lobby, Michael's, they have those as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our twine and I'm gonna overlap the top portion here a couple of times to make a nice big loop and I'm going to then tie a knot in it so I can make sure that my beads are not going to fall off the end. I'm not trying to put a tassel or anything on this end. I just want a loop in it, so that's what I'm going to do. And that's good, so my beads won't come off the end. I'm going to go ahead and cut this loop at the bottom open and it's sort of like an odd looking tassel but I'm not really worried about that. Okay once we have this knotted up I put my beads that will roll away in the bowl. I'm going to take off the flowers individually off of the stem and remove the like center part out of them. Okay, so now all you have to decide on is the pattern you'd like to string your beads on with. I'm going to start off with a pearl, and if your twine won't go all the way through, you can put a dab of hot glue on it and 
wait for it to dry a little and then squeeze it and it should let you string things on easy that way. Then we're gonna use a wood bead. Then I'm going to use one of these I added my stash. Then I'm going to use another wood bead. Then another pearl. Then I'm going to use one of the flowers. Then another wood bead. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna use another pearl. Once you're done stringing, I have three little flowers left. That was not all of them on the stem either. I can still take off more if I wanted to go a little further. But I'm going to take these flowers and I'm going to hot glue them to the heart on the back. Sort of like this. Probably in a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the end here. We're going to make a little knot. And then we're going to glue it down to the middle of our heart, like here. And here are my final projects and they are exactly how I envisioned them in my head. I knew I wanted to use the little wood stems and they worked out perfectly to make a vase on the little candle holder and I think it is really really pretty. You can put one of the smallest Dollar Tree vases inside of there. It does fit and you could add some live flowers if you wanted to. I think I may be putting this out on my front porch whenever it does become spring here in Michigan. And I do love the little beaded garland. I thought it would be fun to add some flowers to it and I think it is just cute and really fun to change it up from just plain beads. So I want to thank Heidi so much for including me in this challenge. Like I said before, I will be linking her channel down below in the description box along with the playlist once she has it available. Please go by and show her and everyone else some love. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you are not a member here at Lacey Space already, I don't know why not. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button, become a member, hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here and we make a lot of cool things here. I also will be linking in the description box a lot of my other videos that I've done recently. I have one that is spring Easter decor and I made some little pom-pom bunnies. So if you'd like to check those out, they will be in the description also. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it's spelled here. And I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye loves. Any mini money more pick a dream and wait.